back home now at Swan Lake, but like you've never seen it before. Forty dancers from the Cape Town City Ballet have captured the unique experience of being a dancer under lockdown. They've recorded their individual interpretations of the music from the Tchaikovsky classic. The video posted on YouTube to remind South Africans to support these art forms has been viewed almost 40,000 times. Here's Nadine Theron with the details. It's unlikely that a planned production of Swan Lake by the Cape Town City Ballet and the Cape Philharmonic Orchestra will be performed in August. Orchestra musicians will probably be the last to return to the normal workplace as their performances require each of their more than 60 members to be present in the same space. All the musicians and all the dancers, uh, they're challenged because they need an audience. Um, it's terrible that you, you want to make music or you want to dance or you want to sing, in the case of Cape Town Opera, and you can't. Uh, nobody will listen to you. But they, I think they get quite frustrated at the fact that they can't really perform with other people because that's what they want to do. Heinemann says without performances and ticket sales, the Cape Philharmonic Orchestra has had to cut musicians' salaries. With the CPO challenging their partners at Cape Town City Ballet to interpret the recording of the Dance of the Swans under lockdown, four dancers jumped at the opportunity. And the result is on point. A program for live stream concerts is planned for later this year, but it's not the same. Our life is all about being in the theatre and the personal contact with our audience and having that transitory experience that even though you know when you dance Swan Lake you you have 10 15 performances over three weeks it's a slightly different experience every time it goes on the stage um, even though it's the same work so it's the the transitory moment that is what is so special about live theater that we've lost Nadine Tehran Cape Town